Good morning. I am here on my porch on this extremely chilly Saturday morning, and I hope that you all are having an awesome weekend and spending it with the women that you love. I wanted to talk just a few minutes about women in our lives and how we can honor them. And the scripture that came to mind was actually 2 Timothy 1, and I'm going to read verses 3 through 5. I thank God whom I serve as my ancestors did, the clear conscience, as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. Whether we grew up in church or not, I'm sure that we can all remember women in our lives who have um, shaped us and taught us and led us and encouraged us um, and helped us become the people that we are today. Your mom, grandmothers, aunts, um, spiritual mothers. Uh, so those are people who may not be related to you, but have still cared for you and taught you and um, helped you along the way. And so Mother's Day weekend is a time to honor our moms, uh, but even if we don't have that, then we also have other women in our lives that we can't honor. Our grandparents and our aunts and our cousins and people at church um, that helped us. Sunday school teachers, coaches, teachers, there's just so many people um, I can think of in my life that are women that have really helped me. And this scripture is really cool because it talks about the ancestors and this legacy of faith um, that started with a grandmother and was passed down. And so I love that. Whether we have grandmothers and mothers that were people of faith or not, we can begin a legacy um, for our future generations and to pass that down to our children and our grandchildren and also the people around us, the other kids. And so I want to encourage you this week to think about that legacy of faith and think about the people that you would like to honor, but also think about the people that you may want to mentor and to help and to teach and to lead. Whether that's volunteering when we can back at church or in schools to help tutor people, uh, mentor other kids, your example matters. We think about the examples of others in our lives um, and how we can remember times when they cared for us and they were there for us and they prayed for us and they taught us and we can do that same thing. So I want to encourage you all this week to one, honor the women in your lives, whether you tell them, whether you do something for them, maybe make mom a cup of coffee this weekend, um, give your grandma or your auntie a call write a note to a teacher who meant a lot to you, do something to honor those women in your lives. And secondly, I want you to think about how you can be somebody that mentors and that teaches somebody else, whether it's a sibling or a neighbor, um, whatever it is. We may not be able to be close and in touch with people now, but that doesn't mean that we can't in the future. It doesn't mean that our example doesn't have ripple effects in the world. So I hope that you all will think about that this week. Have a great week. I am loving you and I am praying for you here in Affomatics and I can't wait till we can all be together again. Uh, continue. We have a Bible study going on in the Bible app that we are continuing if you want to join us and we have our weekly Zoom meetings on Friday so just message me for the link. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for these youth and what they mean to you and also what they mean to us as a church and um, as a community. Help us to continue to be good examples to them and to pour into them. Help us to honor the people who have taught us and who have been good examples for us and also help us to be people that mentor and that love and that teach others so that we may continue that generational faith. Amen. Have a great week, guys.